Hey, that's Ken Names, and welcome back to the Daily Advice. So, here we have two of our nice, pristine walls. You might use them in this fashion, but right now they're just two separate walls, living lonely lives until somebody blows a hole in them, each conveniently about the same size. Whoa, that that's catastrophic. That thing's dislodged. Wow. I've seriously got the power. Wow. Wow. So I digress. So now somebody has a hole in your wall, they can get in, and conveniently you fought them out. Now you have a hole in the hole in your wall. They're probably still sieging you, so you can't get enough stone to rebuild it. So what do you do? You build it back up with wood that you have stored up for this very purpose. Usually when you see a siege coming, you stock up on wood and such. A lot of resources that you'll need for the long haul. <clears throat> so what we have here are two different designs for replacement walls or temporary walls. This one using the larger one and this one using the purely walled wall, the thin one. Let's just call it that. Thin boy and no, fat man, thin boy. I think that's the names of them. So what I've done here is basically made a flat structure in the front, basic wall looking thing. Oh, I can change the lighting. <coughs> there we go. Thank you, sunshine. You're now from over there. That's weird. Still a work in progress. So what I've done here is I made one solid wall across using these tons, probably. You want to use as big of pieces as you can because ones are actually pretty easy to go through. They're not as structurally integritized words. And then I filled in with the top abut abutment for hiding behind. This one I just did the full wall, added those little pieces, and then just made the floor a little bit lower. My throat is surprisingly dry in this one. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. So these ones are going laterally, so I put ones behind it going horizontally. This will protect against a lot of, I guess, wear and tear, because if they are attacking in one portion with their hammer, Pull this up with their hammer they create a two by two surface that they are hitting on and if you were to lay them both horizontally or both vertically they'd actually have that whole area that they could then pass through so i just got that small part and now since i only have a two by two area to whack i only did it that low and i did it out of one by ones wow oh, i was lame that day so ideally these would be longer pieces if you actually hit one of them then you'd only have a small slit then you'd have to work your way across so ideally you'd have most of these going vertically having a few horizontally horizontal layers so that you'd have the most protectiveness most structural integrity for when they're hitting with a mallet ideally you don't need much on the top but that's mainly for boulders coming over and not hitting whatever citizens behind you this isn't as tall as the actual wall so imaginatively not in the citizens yeah those things you're supposed to hide behind but over here i actually did a better job of stuff so in this one i added these abutments so that if they were to use a battering ram the force would actually transfer through these small pieces of timber leading into these actual stone pieces Ideally, if you found a broken wall, you'd patch it up and then you could build some of these afterwards because you'd have enough time to probably dig up the dirt that would make these or such. So on this wall, nothing really substantially different. I put in a stair step. Ideally, you could go down from uh, the wall that was the area that was on top of here. Just have stairs going down, add in some of these. What are these? Santhid protectors. Battlements. Sure. Some of these battlements along the side. Z. I'm so glad I found those buttons, the Z and whatever. You, thank you. Z. No? Okay, you're just difficult today. Delete you. Just have a walkway coming down from the top there onto this part, but we have our own stair step. So that's about it. Hopefully your barbarians don't go pounding through your nice and fancy walls. But if they do, these are some ways to protect or resist their continuous forces.
So once again, thanks for watching this daily advice. As usual, there'll be another one out tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did indeed like this advice. If you do have any suggestions on advice or something you would like me to look into, please do add that in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.